Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom, with 10 fabulous ways we're going to try and take crayon off the wall. One of you subscribers asked me to do this, so here I go. I don't want to draw on my walls, but sometimes kids do, so let's do it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take a crayon, a black one, so it'll be the worst one, and I'm going to make a couple of lines. Let's say you've got a little kid that's done some scribbling. Now there are 10 recommended ways to take it off. I don't think they all work, so we're gonna try each one of them one by one, we'll go down the row, and you'll see what really works and what doesn't. Now here's the first one, a soda paste, which means you get your rag really wet and you take a, make a little paste of soda. So we'll try that. And we scrub. Okay, it's kind of working. Take some elbow grease, plus I have a textured wall, which makes it harder. But, okay, kind of works. I'm, I'm happy with that one. I would give that one a thumbs up. Now here's another one. Toothpaste, white toothpaste. Obviously you're not going to smear green gel <laughs> over your wall. But here's some white toothpaste. Just a regular brand. Okay, let's try this. And now... We'll try this one next. We'll try this one right here. Okay, nope. I, I would not want to take all day long <laughs> it would only be that good. That's not so hot, so in my opinion. <laughs> now how about a dryer sheet? Some people say a dryer sheet will do it. We'll try right here. Well, it smears it and makes matters much worse. How's that? Some came off, but how long do you have to do that? Uh-uh. <laughs> I would say no to that one. Now, Goo Gone. Do not confuse this with Gorilla Glue like someone I know <laughs> did. <laughs> so Goo Gone. It stinks, right? But then you follow it up with some kind of cleaner. And let's try it. I'll put some Goo Gone on this cloth. And now we'll see how Goo Gone works. Oh, goodness. Okay, it takes it off the line but it makes a big gray smear. Now some did come off, so if you work hard enough and use enough, I suppose it might, I don't know, I'm not happy. Would you want that on your wall? I don't think you would. Okay, now here is a spot remover, like you'd use on your clothing, which means probably acetone and it's flammable and keep it away from kids, right? But let's just try it and see. We'll try it on the end here. Well, it's breaking it up pretty darn well. If you kept going and used a lot of it, I think you could do it, but you'd still have this residue. And I suppose the residue you probably could take off with just a mild, warm soap and water, maybe hot soap and water might work. Now, some people say WD-40. We'll try that. We'll try it. You notice I'm putting things on the cloth first because you don't want to put something right on your wall and have it drip down and maybe get into your electrics and stuff. So, okay, here's WD-40. You guys, I'm wrecking my wall. <laughs> but you know, it, it breaks it up. If you stuck with it, that would work, I think. All right, we're still not done. Mayonnaise. Everybody likes mayonnaise, right? But do you like it for cleaning your wall? <laughs> we'll see if, now that's an awful lot of mayonnaise on there. I'm gonna take some of that back off. Okay, let's just see how mayonnaise works. Okay, big fail <laughs> on the mayonnaise. It didn't work at all. All right, now we're gonna try vinegar because they say vinegar. You gotta, you gotta love me, right, YouTube mom? Where else can you go and get all these methods demonstrated in a line, one after another? Okay, here you go. Did I get a lot on there? It doesn't look very wet to me. Okay, vinegar. Next. Right here. No, no. You could do as well just with a dry cloth, I think. So vinegar is out. How about, we've got two left. How about ammonia? Stinky, winky ammonia. Well, let's try it. Okay, here we go. I'm rubbing really hard. Well, it does break up 
the the waxy crayon but gosh just buy washable crayons you guys <laughs> okay here's the last one and it's plain old dish soap let's see how dish soap does now granted if you used hot water with it that might help melt that waxy crayon too so let's try some just regular dish soap and some I don't know. <laughs> I think the very best one. What was our first one? Do you remember? <laughs> That's the one that worked. Was it Gugan? No. No. It was WD-40. No. No. It was. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> How sad that I've tried 10 things and I can't remember which was the one that worked. Is it the spot remover? It's a whole bunch of things here. <laughs> well, this is good. You can, it's not a dog. <laughs> you know what it was? It was the soda paste. By George, it was the soda paste. So now we're gonna do it one more time. Just double check that our soda, plain old baking soda and water, you guys. Let's see. Yep, yep, that's the best one of them all. Okay, now, it's not perfect because I didn't sit and work at it. But when I do work at it, which this is gonna keep me busy all afternoon, thanks a lot. <laughs> now you know what works. Okay, I'm the YouTube mom, Joni Hilton. Go to my website, joni.hilton.com. Read my hilarious blogs. Buy my books <laughs> and tell your friends to subscribe. We'll see you next time.